Nigeria uh, and Nigeria Youth Cup. And totally great mission is being hosted in the Bengal State. So this press conference this morning is part of that um, uh, part of it to know that this is what is happening in your very core. Um, I don't want to go too much into details of uh, what is going to happen here today. I will want the Nigerian representative in the person of uh, Victor to tell us who and who is in our midst and uh, why they are here. Victor, please. All right. Good. After that, the journalists will commit themselves so that they will know who they are talking to. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone, and um, thanks for coming out today. Uh, my name is Victor Obinwede. I founded the VOE Foundation and I'm um, the tournament director of the FC Bayern Club in Nigeria. Um, here is an FC Bayern legend, a club ambassador, and a FIFA World Cup winner. Uh, it's Johannes Kluge, Paul Hansi, and, and uh, it's his second time in Nigeria because he was here to pick the team who. Who brought that trophy home, home to us? That's the world title. And uh, accompanying him today is Francisco Inonis. He heads the youth club project across the world and uh, he's an uh, international youth brand manager with Bayern Munich. So, uh, first time in Africa, first time in Nigeria, and uh, first time in my home city. So, that's it's really good. So, Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, I think good, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Osson Bakusei. I'm the first presenter of the Edo program. One of five from five. Yeah, you know. Right now, we're talking about getting the speaker and director for Radio Nigeria. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amit Chabu. I report for Best Choice Sports for People's Daily Newspaper. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chile Duarte, and I work for Mandarin. Good morning. My name is Mayor Duarte, Prime Sports Mayor. My name is Lou Collar, so I'm sitting for Luis Ocosio. All right. So, get to end it. Go. All right, that's my welcome to Nigeria. Most especially, Hansi, good to see you. Great so much about you. Uh, it's a privilege and an honor that you are here today. I can't believe you. You produce massive talent. We have abundant talent. So, how does this help us in terms of growing the youth culture for football? Zusammenzuarbeiten, die sehr korrekt ist und, und, und uns sehr unterstützt, sagen wir mal. Sie treffen eine gewisse Vorauswahl und, und die zehn Burschen kommen dann nach München und haben letztes Jahr sehr das Turnier gewonnen. Und ich glaube, für die Burschen ist es auch ein, ein besonderes Erlebnis, hier dabei zu sein, sagen wir mal, nach München, nach Europa zu kommen, im Hotel zu sein, im Flieger zu sein und so weiter. Um, yeah, so good morning from, from, from the side of Hansi. Um, the, way, the, the way he thinks um, our projects can bring the, the youth here uh, uh, forward um, is also tied to the, to the amazing work that the VOE Foundation has, has been done um, over the years with us. Um, and, and, and the way, the, the way we together contribute to, to the development of, of the youth is, uh, first of all, by giving them an opportunity here to prove themselves amongst themselves here in the country, but then those who really are, are chosen and get to go to, to Europe. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to, to, to experience European football firsthand, the training conditions, the, the training staff that we have over there, and ultimately um, the fact that they, uh, that they prove themselves once again, but against players of all over the world. So this, this cultural, intercultural 
exchange through football uh, is very important for us. Not only not only from a sporting perspective, but also from a from a human, which is also very important. I'm just curious to know what happens next when you leave Nigeria with you, the club, and the players. Uh, yes, so uh, for me personally, for us, it's a, it's a lot of work because um, the same thing that, that you are seeing here takes place in another seven countries around the world. Uh, so, so it's a lot of work. Um, and uh, regarding the players, uh, all the players that we identify through our project, we do, we, we, we keep them, we do a follow up on them with their coaches, with the club. Uh, we have staff dedicated to giving a call every couple of weeks know how the players are evolving knowing what the situ what their situation is um, yeah and then ultimately preparing everything in germany so that we can give everyone the best experience possible and the best uh, the best learning that they can get from us how many countries do you have this project why the choice of those countries thank you well, the countries that have by ride over the years, um, countries will have, have different extensions, let's say. Um, and, and the way which countries, are, on, on one side, it's a, it's a sporting perspective, obviously. Uh, but then on the other side, we choose countries where we can have, find solid partners that are capable of organizing and setting up uh, uh, not only the tournament, tournament, but then the follow-up of actually bringing the boys to Germany. Because I mean, we, we support with, with contacting the embassies and so on, but uh, but we need solid partners that, that, that can really um, uh, support the boys from here uh, to get over there. And regarding your question of, of uh, which countries we're having, so for instance, this year, we're gonna have Team USA, Mexico, Argentina, uh, Morocco is a new addition to the to the tournament. Um, South Africa um, and Team Germany also. China. We're gonna have Team China as well this year once again, and then of course Nigeria. Yes, uh, my question is to the VOE Foundation. Uh, who informed the choice of buying and how did your organization come? And then also have a question for you, Alice. Uh, you are a former player, you've been in the game for a very long time, and then you've grown to the part where you also met in the young time. How do you intend to mentor the players, and what do you look out for when you're looking at these players? And also for Francisco, what have you seen so far in Nigeria since this is your first time on the sporting part? I think a bit of background is that for this is for this is for this for this is 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 Buying a very traditional, like our hometown team, very traditional, very historic. Like you said, in the next 200 years, Bayern Munich will still be in existence. Uh, we anticipate and we hope that our hometown team will be in existence in the next 200 years. We have shared values, shared vision, so that's where the choice. Uh, at something and obviously there's the pathway for youth cup is the oldest club tournament or youth tournament run by a professional club in the world no other club is running um, this tying it with uh, the sporting perspective and not just being a commercial tournament so in the last since since we started the first edition in africa Right now, there's three African teams who are showing up. Last year, we had Togo and Nigeria. So it's given the kids on this continent a chance to see by high level uh, teams, high level coaches. 2018, we had Kelvin signed for a Premier League team in England. Same for 2019, Francis was identified in 2019. And this answers your question in terms of follow up. I didn't want to identify the players 
we have a, a four-year plan. So we're the the best players, we support them um, academically, mentorship, and on the pitch. Make sure they're getting the right, whatever the boys in Germany will get in terms of coaching, to make sure they receive it here, so that they have the best possible chance to become professionals. Daniel Francis is a uh, testament to this. Found in 2019, uh, played Abuja qualifiers, played national finals in Lagos. Come November, he played for the under 17 at the World Cup. He moved on to the Bayern World Squad, which is another project for the best uh, 7, 16 to 19 year olds. So he captained the World Squad and um, <laughs> eventually got a contract from Bayern Munich. So he's the first Nigerian kid who signed directly from the streets of Nigeria. So that's how much. Uh, influence and impact uh, this project can, can bring about. Um, we have over 15 players since we started who have become full professionals in Europe. So that's how the collaboration is helping kids in Nigeria, kids in Africa, and uh, kids around the world. So it's, it's a fantastic project. Einfach Ansage mit, mit zu sehen, so wir, wie sie als Mannschaft funktionieren, die, die Truppen, so wir. Und dann geht es halt im Detail, sind sie beidfüßig, sind sie schnell, wie erkennen sie Situationen nach vorne, nach hinten, sagen wir. Das sind alles so kleine Punkte, sagen wir, die dann einfach eine Mannschaft ausmacht und wo einfach wichtig ist, sagen wir, um das Talent zu erkennen und, und zu sehen. Ja, yeah, Hansi sagt, his counting points are, and curiously enough, he says, the first, the first thing he sees is how the, how the players work as a team. He first watches how the team is organized and played, and then he goes individually to the individual technical characteristics or talents that, that they might have, but then goes back on, on how these individual qualities contribute or add to the team, which is uh, ultimately uh, what's, what's most important for us in teamwork, building a good team. Um, And yeah, re regarding your question uh, to me, well, first of all, I would like to thank you everyone for, for being here. For me, I'm, I'm so happy to be here because I've known, I've known Victor and I've known people from the VOA Foundation since at least 2018. Uh, but we've only met in Munich every time and every year it's like, come to Nigeria, come to Nigeria. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, for, for different reasons I could not have, but, but finally it happened. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can, uh, we can choose a team that, that uh, will defend the title. Like how, what the 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 a lot of things can happen between now and October. There's visas, there's injuries, we don't pray for that. We hope that the best 10 players will, will attend. But when these things happen, we want to be able to uh, replace the player. The second bit is that afterwards, this is 7v7, we want to keep an age group of 20 who are capable of playing 11v11. So away from this tournament, when they develop, they develop as a team of 20 who can potentially attend international tournaments, play 11 v 11 games. Um, in terms of uh, how long the foundation foundation has been set up since 2015, so that's how long. And for this year, we're looking at boys born in 2007 and boys born in 2008. So boys will be 15 and 16 this year. I think I think what I felt or what we felt was was unique because maybe in our opinion we've had the best players every year, but it's it's a team sport, so the team have to deliver. Um, we can tell 2019 we felt we had a really good team, but it's a quick game. Once you make mistakes, you get punished at the highest level. So. They've, they've learned it, and this team, yes, they are world champions, but we are seconds away from getting knocked out in the group stage. Some way, somehow, the doctor, we found the result, 
and in the semis and the final, I think Argentina was 4 0, Japan was 5 3 1. So in the semis and finals, they didn't. They learnt, they learnt it uh, from the experience on the pitch and they never let it happen again. So, first games, they were a bit, yes, we think we're the best team. Um, that moment was scare. And finally, their Nigerian team, if you don't do permutations, I don't think it's, it's in Nigeria. So, uh, that's, that's really much, really much shit. Dima, no, you must actually know the Bilder and Charm, then you know what was going on. Yeah, nach dem, nach dem Secret, nach dem Finale. Ah, yeah. yeah, so Hansi says you, you only have to look at the other pictures uh, after the final when they lifted the trophy and then yeah. you understand everything, how, how it felt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.